The can collide property for a part basically indicates if any other part can collide with it. Normally, if it's a floor or wall and you're assembling it, you either touch on the side, for example, or put it underneath. But notice how when we put it inside of each other, that means that they're not really colliding. And so colliding really has to affect when you play the game with a character. So for example, when I play here and walk up to these parts, each one of their can collide is on. So you'll notice when I walk over this, it automatically walks on top of it. This one, I can't push it because it's anchored, but I can still be blocked by it. So I'm colliding with that wall. And then this floating one, although it's floating before, when I step on it, I step on top of it and jump, and it doesn't affect it because, again, it's anchored. Now I can t click each one of these and then go down to its can collide property, turn it off, and then when I play, it'll still be anchored, but I will walk right through them as if they're ghosts, as if they're not even there. And so this is one of the many ways that you can dynamically change this can collide property and make doors, trap doors, secrets in your levels, things like that. The can collide property is how that works.